Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby, and I just got finished watching the Ubisoft Forward uh, Digital Conference Showcase, which was about one hour long. Uh, today is June 12th. This is the first day of E3 officially. And um, yeah, let's just say yeah, this one was, well, you have to be very into Ubisoft to really enjoy this whole presentation so i'm gonna go over everything that they show to give you my little thoughts on it and pretty much sum it all up so you don't have to watch a whole one hour so um okay so they started with rainbow six now this is a new little spin-off thing called extraction so rainbow six extraction and this is really weird instead of you know really crazy militaristic uh against other humans this is a completely one to three co-op game an ubisoft original and you're fighting aliens i think they call them archaeons i'm not sure how to pronounce that uh, so this is based off the you know right now siege gameplay uh, they have operators but they're gonna have new gear and upgrades they showed a lot of gameplay footage here it looks like a pretty good addition for siege fans um, but yeah i'm not really into it uh, next up, they showed off Rocksmith Plus. This was random, but pretty cool. They showed off um, a new service here. It's a new live service, so you're going to be paying probably monthly, or maybe they have a yearly subscription thing. If I were to use any sort of third-party software to learn uh, guitar, this would be it, though. I had a friend who tried it out for a while, and he really liked it. So... This, like I said, this is a, um, a third-party thing. It's like a spin-off of the Rocksmith, you know, game. This can be used with all the equipment already there. So if you already played Rocksmith, you're good to go. Um, this is an ever-growing library. Tons of new genres, not just rock. They got, you know, a lot of subgenres in metal, Latin, hip-hop, etc. There's going to be a lot of uh, community-made tutorials, forums, and a ton of help. So this is pretty cool for that little audience there. Next up, they showed a Riders Republic, um, pretty much in-game footage, but not like from the perspective of a player. Just like a lot of players running around in a lot of different environments. It comes up September second, which is pretty close. Um, it looks cool. Uh, a lot of different sports, like uh, snowboarding, biking, gliding. They even have like some sort of weird jetpack and stuff. So it's either gonna be one gigantic large map or a bunch of small segmented ones and maybe some community ones but not a lot of information was shown there rather than this little um, gameplay trailer uh, but yeah it could be cool all right next off they showed hey some quick stuff about rainbow six siege it's weird that they showed that um two games after rainbow six extraction they should have just bundled it together i guess they didn't want to like bog it down too much with that uh they, they just pretty much talked about some quality of life developments they're going to be having um, cross play between the platforms cross progression which is always a nice thing and they're gonna have a new operator etc it, it looks cool it looks cool and moving on they did a quick little sizzle reel of updates to their live services so for honors getting updates i didn't see specifically what they're doing track mania is getting uh, some kind of new water mechanics where you can jump on them a brawlhalla tmnt turtles they get to play at Dante Raphael, etc that's cool. Uh, the crew is getting a couple of new cars. Watchdog Legion Bloodline. Uh, yeah, that's a little quick thing. Then they talked about Just Dance. Uh, there's going to be an exclusive version of some songs in there. They had a uh, musical artist go up there and say, Yeah, man, I worked really close with them and I'm going to do a uh, cool song just for them. Um, there's going to be 40 plus songs in this. Comes out November 4th. Never been... A big Just Dance fan. I don't think I've ever, ever, ever played it. But it's pretty funny how every single year Just Dance keeps coming out with a Wii version. Not a Wii U version. Not a Switch version. A regular Wii version. But that's because people still play it. It's like in hospitals and, you know, just old school. Like grandmothers and maybe young kids who still play the Wii like Just Dance. So it's funny. Um, the last Wii game ever to be made was Just Dance 2021. 2020. 2019. 2018. So, I don't know if they're going to keep with the Wii tradition here, but that sounds cool. Uh, next up, uh, they talked about Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, there's going to be some new updates, more festivals that have been going on, uh, limited quests, some new modes, and upcoming, there's going to be the Siege of Paris little updates. 
which adds in new skills, weapons, and enemies. So yeah, I did not play this one, but that's really cool. They're adding a lot more into it. Uh, if you're big fans of it, that's great. I think some of it might be paid, but most of it's little free updates. Uh, then they talked about two movies and shows that are coming out. They showed off Mythic Quest. I think they're on season two. The finale is coming up, and they showed a little, you know, sizzle reeler of that as well. And then something interesting. They uh, showed a, sh I think this is a straight movie. It's called Werewolf Within, and it's based off a game. I don't remember which game exactly. It might be exactly what it's named after, but it's supposed to be some sort of whodunit mystery type of game. I don't think it's based off the board game or anything. Werewolves. Uh, it must just be another different type of game. All right. Three more things. Unfortunately, only three more things. It was only an hour long. They had to pack a lot, but these last three things are the best. So, Far Cry 6, they showed a little bit more footage, different footage than what we've seen yesterday. More Giancarlo Esposito as the villain in this one, you know, talking um, to, you know, just random people and yelling at them and shooting. It's, it's you know, Far Cry villain stuff. Um, then they showed off post-launch plans. You're going to be playing as the villain in upcoming DLCs or spin-offs. So, Far Cry 3, 4, 5, those... Uh, villains were really iconic and just with the new one here they really want to make the villains really stand out and be a big part and selling point of the game so we're gonna be playing through their perspective and they showed some of that I don't know how that works but cool then probably the, the best thing in my opinion to come out from here Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope this is a new sequel from the Kingdom Battle game that they had a while ago this is very cute. You had you have like a new character, the uh, Rosalina Rabbit was adorable, and the uh, Luma from Mario Galaxies, the little Lumas who fly around little stars, have also been sort of rabbitized. So yeah, that's very adorable as well. And instead of just the Mushroom Kingdom, you're gonna be going out to different worlds, etc. So yeah, that's coming out 2022. Looks cool. I need to play the first one though, cause I really like those kind of XCOM like strategy games. Um, and then the last thing, which came out of nowhere, uh, it's called Avatar Frontier of Pandora. <laughs> this comes out in 2022. Everyone in the chat when I was watching was like, this is old. A little too late to be making an Avatar game 11 years ago or whatever. Now, I think this is all just to increase hype to coincide with the upcoming movies that James Cameron has planned. I have no idea when the new one's coming out, the new movie. I have not been keeping up, but... You know, considering this one comes out next year, I'm assuming the movies also come out next year. So that was it for the Ubisoft conference thing. I just saved you one whole hour by talking about everything that was there. Um, yeah, the biggest things that I actually would legit play here. Mario, Rabbids, that's it. I really don't care about the rest of this stuff. <laughs> I really don't care. You know, the, the other video I made today was much better. The Guerrilla Collective, there's a lot of new material here. But yeah, it's just Ubisoft just saying, hey, yeah, these are games we made a while ago. Here's some updates for it and a couple new things. But if you're a big, you know, Assassin's Creed and Rainbow Six fan, then this is great news for you and Far Cry stuff. So, yo, it was whatever. Uh, there's nothing else today coming out, but tomorrow will be some new things. So we got Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday left. But that's it for today for the E3 thing. I got another uh, game review hopefully coming out today. Hopefully I can get that script done. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. That was really interesting to watch. Uh, thanks for being here. And I'll see you guys next time.